Hey Insta family, the photo which you're seeing, it has a great story and uh, one of my uh, deepest story which I'm going to share it with you right now. That photo is taken back in 2013 December when I went to uh, meet my brother in uh, Netherlands and that photo was uh, taken in Paris. The face what you are looking at that time is the person who is physically broke, mentally broke, emotionally broke and almost like um, every part of his life is broke. So that was the time when I lost my wife in a train accident and I kept on blaming myself. I was into a deep depression. I don't know what was happening. And uh, that phase of my life was so painful. And why I'm sharing that uh, right now is when you are emotionally um, impacted, when you are emotionally traumatized, it is really, really difficult to get back to yourself. I know that time will heal over a period of time, but I was been in that suffering and I was been in that guilt and I was been in that negative emotions for more than um, I think eight to nine years until and unless first time ever I understood that these are the emotions will you the longer you carry the longer you experience the same kind of a result again and again and again so that is one I got introduced to something called healing and that that is one um, I took a professional help to heal my past traumas and during this whole phase every single time when those kind of trigger happens my behavioral pattern used to change my I was able to not able to follow my diet I was not able to follow my pattern the laziness kicks in self sabotaging kicks in all this kicks in and I was not able to follow it so most of the times we we um, uh, focus on motivation and willpower and all of them when you are emotionally impacted to the core it is really really difficult to push your willpower and motivation so what are the three things which has really helped me during this whole process is the first and foremost thing is accepting myself uh, all those negative emotions whatever is going through accepting myself the second important thing which has really helped me is taking a hundred percent responsibility of my feelings and uh, most of these situations i started blaming about god and universe and why i was not here why these things happened to me and i was continuously questioning and overthinking and self-sabotaging myself so the second important thing is you need to take 100 percent responsibility of yourself the third important thing is always if you don't know how to heal the healing is a process to remove your negative emotional traumas which you're going through so you can take a help of any professional to heal yourself so that you can feel better and you can let go about all that resentment to whatever you're going through so i really want to thank my mentor kartika who helped me to heal this particular situation and the next fourth important thing is once you heal start molding your mindset molding your um, belief system that what exactly you want start start believing that everything is possible for you improve your self-love self-concept and all of them so that you start um, believing in yourself and moving forward so this is what is the journey i wanted to tell you guys so i just thought of sharing this is a new series which i'm going to do it every week Basically, I thought maybe so I have gone through so many challenges. Maybe if each challenge can even inspire one person and if can um, this guidance can help someone. And I really wanted to looking forward for those people. And I can only tell you one thing. Every single pain and challenge you're going through, it will evolve you as a person. If I was not gone through all the situations, I should have not... Um, invested in my own personal development i should have not healed i should have not even known that there is something called a healing there is something that you know it's not that every single pain you have to go through alone there are people who are ready to help you and uh, the moment you heal you can start seeing your progress and your uh, growth is happening in every part of your life and i uh, during my whole journey why i was only understood one thing Every single situation and challenge is a really a blessing in your life. It is it is compulsory for you to evolve to the next next version of yourself. So hope that helps and uh, thank you so much for following my channel. And I'm going to post this today and uh, keep following, keep sharing with someone who really really need this because. 90% of your challenges are lies. 90% of your challenges are the pain what you're going through. The suffering what you're going through is optional because right now you don't know how to handle them. That's why take a professional help and uh, get out of that and uh, accept yourself as if you are take 100% responsibility and keep moving forward. Love you all. Have a great day. Harvin signing off. Thank you.